When you're out on tour, you are completely immersed in the movie and the story because you're not seeing it in a two-dimensional form. You are there, you can hear the swishing of the trees, you can hear the gurgling of the water, you can hear the insects and the birds. So people can get up in the morning in their hotel, clean their teeth, eat their breakfast, jump in the van, and then suddenly walk the paths that their heroes walked. There was the first day of filming on Lord of the Rings. It was 30 degrees Celsius, six guys fainted from the heat. I'm not going to take any Tom, Dick or Harry. I'm not going to take a four-wheel drive specialist who has no Lord of the Rings knowledge. But it's their Lord of the Rings knowledge and their passion, which is what will get them hired. The camera was basically behind us, looking my right shoulder, looking in this direction. So we're going to be looking back towards the camera. Be mindful there is wind gusts and it's quite steep drop off here. We get a lot of people on the tours who are absolutely nuts about the whole deal. They want to discuss the books, they want to discuss the movies, they want to discuss what Tolkien was thinking, they want to know camera angles, they want to know what time of day, and we have to deliver. They're going to go home armed to the teeth with information that they can share with others. Over the years, we have amassed a large array of weapons. They are real weapons. They are not the originals, but they are real. They will cut your fingers off if you're not careful. We make sure that our clients are safe and warm, so we carry jackets and scarves in the vehicles. We have a nice hot lunch in the winter. We have a lovely antiplasto lunch in the summer in a restaurant overlooking one of the most beautiful mountain ranges in the world. Over the decade that the tours have been going now, there has been no decline in interest. And with The Hobbit coming up now, that's only just going to ramp things up again.